Hey, Dr. Nissi here again, and today I want to answer the question, is the new Impossible Whopper actually healthy? And I'm actually going to do a taste test between the regular Whopper and the Impossible Whopper. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Dr. Matthew Nissi, and I'm here to tell you that weight loss does not need to be a chore. For over a decade, I've been helping my patients lose weight naturally so they can keep it off permanently. Now I want to bring that knowledge to you. If natural weight loss is something you might be interested in, please consider subscribing to this channel and then hit the bell notification icon so you're always updated when I upload a new video. And now, on to the video. Okay, so we'll dive right into it. First thing we want to do is we want to talk about is the Impossible Whopper a healthy alternative to the regular Whopper? So to do this, I'm actually going to show you a screenshot of a side-by-side -side comparison with different nutritional values of the regular Whopper, their traditional Whopper, and the Impossible Whopper. So if you check out this screenshot, you can see that the regular Whopper and the Impossible Whopper have very similar calories, 630 to 660. We'll basically call that a wash. Um, they're pretty similar in the amount of fat grams that they have, 40 to 34. Again, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I'm not all that concerned with the amount of fat that you take in. Um, so let's move down to uh, cholesterol, and there is a little bit more cholesterol in the regular Whopper. Again, I don't think that's an issue. I've done videos on cholesterol and why that's not all that bad of a thing. Um, now here's where it gets interesting. We'll go down to the sodium and the Impossible Whopper and the regular Whopper have about the same amount of sodium, so we'll call that a wash. Here's where it gets interesting. The number of carbohydrates. <clears throat> carbohydrates is the number one thing I try to control when I do a program, a weight loss program for one of my patients. 58 grams of carbohydrates in the Impossible Whopper and the regular Whopper with 49, significantly less. Uh, 4 grams of fiber to 1 gram of fiber, 12 grams of sugar to 11 grams of sugar, and then we get down to protein. Uh, big reason why people eat meat. 25 grams of protein in the Impossible Whopper and 28 grams of protein in the regular Whopper. All right, so let's talk about the protein specifically. Basically, they're about the same as far as how healthy that they are, but the protein is very misleading. Animal protein is where you're getting what you're getting from the regular Whopper. You're getting meat, you're getting uh, beef. And from the Impossible Whopper, you're basically getting soy protein or protein that's, that's come from a bean source anyway. So the difference is pretty profound. Amino acids is what you're trying to get out of this protein, among other things, but namely, let's talk about the amino acid profile and the two types of amino acids. There's essential amino acids, and then there's non-essential amino acids. Non-essential amino acids your body can actually produce. Essential amino acids you actually have to get from an outside source. Protein, animal protein, it's considered to be a complete source of amino acids while soy or plant-based protein is considered incomplete. So it's missing some of these essential amino acids. So you're getting a, a better amino acid profile it's, and it's better able to help you develop lean muscle when you eat meat compared to a meat substitute that's typically made from soy. So as far as the Impossible Whopper and the regular Whopper, they are very similar as far as their um, health content, but they're very different when talking about the difference between the types of protein and how that protein helps your body. So now let's actually taste test a Whopper and an Impossible Whopper and see if there's a difference in how they actually taste. All right, off to Burger King we go. Uh, we're gonna get lunch. We're actually gonna get two lunches. So we're picking up the Whopper and the Impossible Whopper. I'll be back with a taste test. Thank you for choosing Burger King, may I help you? Yeah, hey, uh, could I get a regular Whopper and also uh, an Impossible Whopper? Do you wanna choose either of these? Um, no, neither, and can I also get no tomato on either? On both? On both. Okay. And that's it. 1018, second window, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Obviously not a fan of tomato. Okay, 10, 18, 10. 10, 18. Thank you. All right. Yeah, have a good day. All right, thank you so much. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, moment of truth time. We got it all in this bag right here. We're gonna test <coughs> the Impossible Whopper and the regular Whopper. I'm gonna get everything set up uh, and then I'll get right back with you. How we're gonna do this <coughs> is I'm gonna taste test it just like it comes uh, with the bun, with the mayonnaise, uh, everything on it. Uh, the pickle, lettuce, you know, onion, I didn't get tomato, I didn't get cheese. So I'm gonna taste it just like it comes and then I'm gonna taste each patty individually and see if there's a difference without all the fluff on it just between the two patties. All right, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I've got everything set up. We're gonna go in order of, we're gonna taste the Whopper first and then we are gonna taste the Impossible Whopper. So, <clears throat> Whopper's up first, here we go. Okay, so full disclosure, I have had a Whopper uh, in the past, obviously, as most of us have. Um, I'm a Whopper fan, I, I think they're good. Uh, I haven't had one in several years. This tastes like what I remember. Um, it, it's a, a really good uh, tasting burger. It, as a matter of fact, um, for me, it's one, of the, it's one of my favorite kind of fast food type of burgers. It, it tastes like I remember it tasting. The important thing is, how does it compare to the Impossible Whopper, which is up next? So, as I, so I wanted to cut it to kind of see what it looked like. And, and first off, it even smells a little bit different. It's kind of got that soy um, protein, if you've ever kind of had a, a soy burger kind of smell. And it's supposed to be made so it kind of almost mimics the juiciness of a, a beef patty when it's a little undercooked or medium or medium rare cooked. And it doesn't really give me that impression as well. So it doesn't really look all that much like a Whopper. And uh, it doesn't definitely smell like a Whopper, but let's see how it tastes. Okay, so first things first, it doesn't really taste like a Whopper. Uh, there is a pretty uh, significant difference. It kind of tastes like, um, you know, if there is such thing in uh, as far as fast food goes, uh, like a lower kind of class burger, I guess I would put it. it. It doesn't have that juiciness that the Whopper does. It doesn't really have that charred kind of... Uh, taste that the, the Whopper does for whatever reason. To be honest, it's pretty good though. Like if somebody gave me this burger and said, uh, this is, here's a hamburger, go ahead and eat it, I wouldn't question if it was beef or not. It, it does taste like beef, it just doesn't really compare to the Whopper one to one, but it is pretty good all in all. All right, so now we're gonna strip it away. We're just gonna do the patties for each and um, kind of get, get all the fluff away and just see what the patties taste like individually. Here we go. We're going to do the same order. Whopper first. All right, so here's the beef patty from the Whopper. Uh, it's very good. Very good beef. Um, you can taste that char on the, the beef. It's a little, it's like a medium kind of uh, cooked, so that's what I like. Um, it's a good piece of beef. That's all I can say. Now we'll compare that just with the patty from the Impossible Whopper. All right, so just the patty. Okay, so just to be fair, uh, there is no real comparison. I am a beef eater, so I enjoy the taste of beef. Um, so the Impossible Whopper really doesn't stack up at, at, compared one to one with the Whopper beef or beef in general. But again, it's pretty good. If somebody gave me that and said, um, you know, here's just a, ha a piece of hamburger, you know, I would just say it's not a great tasting hamburger. Um, okay, so taste-wise, you know, they don't really compare, but all in all, I would say that the Impossible Whopper is a pretty good sa sandwich for the right person. Now, who is the customer base? Burger King has come out and they have said this is not intended to be a healthy alternative for the Whopper. They've made a public statement about that. But I can see how people might be misled by their advertising. For two points, so point number one is this is advertised as a plant-based version of the Whopper. So when people hear plant-based, they generally think it's healthier. And we've already went into kind of what's in the Impossible Whopper. It's mostly bean-based um, protein, soy-based uh, protein. 
but you know, I could see how people might think that there's some real good health benefits. I mean, there's no superfoods in here. We're not getting kale. We're not getting uh, beets. We're not getting spinach. You know, it's not a burger that's made of uh, you know great nutritional, real, real nutritionally dense plants. I mean, this is you know basically bean and soy uh, protein that you're getting out of it. So I can see how you could be misled just a little bit there. And then the other thing is, I think this is intended for people that just want an alternative that don't eat beef at all. But the commercial shows people that have eaten the, regu the regular Whopper or, or supposedly do on a regular basis trying it and saying, oh, it compares, you know, it's I can't tell the difference or whatever. So I think that it's Burger King's attempt to draw in a new market that might not use their products. But it's a little misleading when they say that when they have people taste tested and say uh, that it is a you know good comparison to the regular Whopper. So I can see how people might be led astray a little bit there as well. Um, all right, so that's the comparison between the regular and the Impossible Whopper. I hope you found this informative and maybe even entertaining. If you like this style of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can do so by clicking this button right here, and over here is another great video you can check out right now. And until next time, everybody stay happy and stay healthy, and I'll catch everybody in the next video.